Hi, I'm Greg Furch, Art Director for the XCOM series. We're excited to see XCOM 2 is coming to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and we hope all of our console fans are ready for this new release. If you played Enemy Unknown, there's one thing you should know. You lost. The sequel picks up 20 years after the XCOM project fails to defend Earth from an alien invasion. Aliens have taken over the world, and it's up to the player to rebuild XCOM, retake the planet, and make our world safe again. As the game's art director, creating XCOM 2's new but familiar setting presented a lot of challenges for the art team. With Enemy Unknown, we looked at real-world settings to create tons of maps based on universally familiar locations, places like museums, stores, and of course, bars. But with XCOM 2, we had more creative freedom. The big question for the art team was, what does it look like when aliens with mixed motives design cities to draw people in? This was an interesting conflict of ideas, which led our imagery to be driven heavily by propaganda. We made an attempt to modernize and update the enemies from UFO Defense, but kept the core ideals from Enemy Unknown. Sectoids are the grunt enemy. They're small, thin, and look physically weak, but they are intimidating enough to present a challenge to new players. In XCOM 2, we evolved the enemies into something more fearsome than anything seen in the series. The game story has the aliens experimenting with splicing together human and alien DNA. This means that aliens aren't just bigger and badder, they're also smarter. For example, the mutant's physique tells the player the unit is less of a beast and more of a soldier. Enemy Unknown's gruesome looking floater has become a godlike archon, with upgrades both to its appearance and its abilities. The Sectoid in XCOM 2 immediately knows how to mind control, which was a late game ability reserved for the Sectoid commander in Enemy Unknown. Since XCOM 2 has a darker tone and a different look, we wanted that feeling to directly affect the gameplay. What was once a multinational government funded project, XCOM has now been reduced to a grassroots resistance. Players are no longer waiting for the aliens to strike an area. Now you decide when to take the fight to the aliens and create your own opportunities. Even the battlegrounds you'll play through will be different each time thanks to our procedural map generation. The world of XCOM 2 is no longer the one you know. It's vastly more open-ended, and you'll be finding more choices available in and out of combat. Tread lightly because the aliens made Earth a brutal and unforgiving place, where your actions will be met with real consequences. You asked for it, so get ready for XCOM 2 on consoles. Thanks for watching, and make sure you catch the next video in our three-part series. Good luck, Commander.